Hi, Cassie here from IMG. Today, I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about list emails. So you may be familiar with sending emails through engagement programs, but a list email is a way to reach out to prospects in particular lists for just a one-off email. A great example of a list email would be maybe a monthly newsletter. So let's talk through sending one. So first, you'll navigate over to the Pardot email tab within Pardot Lightning. And from any of these tabs, draft, scheduled, sent, you have the option to create a new list email, send new list email. So this will start us from scratch. So let's do that. First, you'll need to fill in your basic info. You, as with many assets in Pardot, you have the option to categorize it with a folder or with the tag. You're always um, prompted to select a campaign. So let's just use that for my example. Choose your tracker domain, email type, all of your options. Let's hit save. Great. So now you'll be prompted to select a template. So let's say you have a template that's already built. This is where you would want to select it. If you have a template that's built, it must be published in order to show up here. If you skip this option, you'll then be uh, prompted to just start with a blank slate. You can kind of see behind here, it looks more like a plain text email. So for this example, I'm going to skip and send a plain text email. All right, a few things to note here. Um, you have variable tags. So a variable tag will pull data directly from a prospect record or a sender record, for example, to, to populate data. So these are the default tabs or tags that are already here, but let's edit. So if you ever wanna change your variable tags or maybe insert a new one into a list email, you would hit this merge field here. So here you can see it's segmented by account, organization, other, recipient or sender. I think you'll spend the most time here. So recipient would be something like company, country, maybe their email or first name. This is the popular one to obviously start your email with. So we could say, hello, first name. In addition, you might want to have the sender signature or name in here too. So as you can see by default, we have the sender name Let's insert my sender signature too. So here you go, insert there. So as long as your users have their signatures populated, these signatures were then pull in um, using a variable tag. All right, one other thing to note here is that by default, you are required to have an unsubscribe option on any email you send from Pardot. So if you try to delete this unsubscribe text, you will get an error in your, um, your list email will not send or save. So always make sure you have that unsubscribe or preference setter option here. So to make sure that we're going to the right place, you can check our hyperlink. So as you can see here, we're going to our unsubscribe link. You could also head over to your preference, oops, your preference page if you would uh, prefer to do that. For this case, let's leave it as unsubscribe. So let's say my email is looking great. I'm happy with it in the HTML version. You're also required to have a text version of your email too. So if you try to save without creating a text version, you will get a second error. So let's head over to text and sync from HTML. Perfect. So now we have a text version of our email. You can clean this up if you would like. Other options in here, you have your, um, your HTML code, so you can actually go in and do some hard coding if you'd like and then you can preview it as a specific prospect. So here's where you can actually uh, test your variable tags. So for example, now we can see Al's name is populating. Great. Next up, we have the testing tab. So here you can send these emails to your inbox to actually test and make sure that all of your links are working and things are looking correct in your inbox. If you also have the option to render tests here, oops, here we go. So you can render to see how they would look in different inboxes like um, Gmail, for example. If you have an internal test list, you can select that here and this will send a HTML and a plain text version of the email to everyone on your test list. The last tab we'll look at is the sending tab. So here you're choosing who you want your email to go to, the specific lists. 
So if you click into lists here, you can choose multiple lists. You can also suppress lists. So a suppression list would be removing people from receiving the email. Next, you would choose your sender. You can use a general user who would be, um, you would insert the email in the name here. You can use an, a specific user, anyone who's a user in the platform or the assigned owner or account owner from Salesforce would automatically populate and send on that behalf. Another fun feature is that you can change the reply to address so that your replies will go to a different sender if that would be applicable for you. And then the last thing, of course, we would want to just insert our subject line. Once all of your info is populated and you've completed your tests, you can either schedule your email or send it in the future. I hope this helps. Thank you.